Hello everyone. Now uh, today uh, I'd like to show you how to install VMware Workstation Pro on your Windows 10 machine. Now virtual machines are very important uh, both from uh, learning learning point of view and for running uh, virtual hardware in corporate environment. Now as you know there are many operating systems and it's not possible for us to install all of them on our desktop PCs on our on our laptops. We have to find a way so that we can actually experiment and learn those operating systems especially on the Linux machines. So for these for this we have got virtual machines by running this software called virtual machine on our PCs on our desktops we can install many uh, operating system as systems as many as we like and then we can actually work with it. So one of such software is VMware Workstation Pro its current release is version 12. It is it is the industry standard uh, for uh, virtualization and uh, it's not a free product so earlier it used to be free but anyhow uh, you should know this and then let's see how to get it started so right now if uh, on my screen I've got this uh, Windows I mean uh, I have this VMware workstation pro trial uh, page from this we are going to download the download the software so from this page vmware workstation pro it has got it comes for windows um, windows and uh, linux so right now we are going to choose is download for uh, windows 64 bit so let's click download and then the download would actually begin but uh, i'm going to but i'm going to cancel it because uh, i've already downloaded it so most of the time what you'll see is that it normally gets downloaded to the uh, to the download folder so if you want to find it where it is you'll have to go to your download folder and this is where you'll find the software so for for this demonstration I've actually uh, uh, I've actually placed the installer on my desktop and just to run this we have to actually let's uh, run this application I mean install it so we actually double click it uh, and then the installation process is very simple as uh, as usual like any installation it's pretty straightforward you know you don't have to you don't really have to do anything so this is how installation begins and the good thing about windows um, like um, vmware workstation is that it is it is truly uh, what do you call uh, it is um, it is a very uh, efficient product so it won't actually slow, slow down your uh, computer like other uh, freewares and all. So you should actually, I recommend that you guys should try this at least. Now the, prob the problem I had earlier with other uh, virtualization softwares was that it actually used to slow down my system. So right now what I have got is, uh, is, a, is a Lenovo machine. I've got around, uh, uh, it's, it's actually i7 with uh, 8 GB RAM and on this I think that running to uh, at least one operating system uh, on VMware it's like it's okay it doesn't actually slow down my system so here it is just press uh, then we press next then I would accept the terms in the license agreement we do next then uh, ensure to click this one this will actually check this box so what happens is that it will give you a um, it will give you enhanced keyboard keyboard features so now I usually uncheck this all right and then do next all right and then be make be sure to like check this so that you'll get a uh, icon in the in desktop and if and if you search here like with with VMware you will see it here search box so next and then let's begin the installation process and then like uh, let this finish installation is just is it's that it's a typical installation there is nothing uh, what you call complicated or um, something special in this now when vm workstation 12 this is actually the latest release and it is actually optimized for windows 10 so it works really good on on the windows windows 10 system and uh, about the OS also Windows 10 I find it very good I don't know why people are actually against it but it is it is surely better than Windows 8 
and then definitely better than Windows 7. And it is very stable product. I've had no problems with this at all. I was actually when I remember when I installed Windows 8, I was actually having some issues. But then with Windows 10, it's all smooth and I haven't had any problem with it. So now you see in the installation process, now you see a desktop icon icon over here. So we'll be using that icon to launch the application. But still installation is actually going on. So it depending on your system, you know, it shouldn't actually take so long. It, it is actually fast. But, uh, but I've got other softwares also. So. We are only we are like waiting here to for the for the installation to complete. So that's it you are done you are done so right now if you have a if you have the license key you can actually click license and then enter your enter the license uh, license description license key and then it would actually activate it the full pro version the the licensed one but for now let's click finish because we don't have the license key so to launch the application click here or you can actually search search here also like vmware you should see All right, so leave it now. Let's let's launch it. So here we are. This is our uh, brand new installation of VMware Workstation. Here you see it says evaluation period ends in 26 days. So because I had already installed this before, so for fresh installation you should get you should see 30 days. Uh, evaluation period okay and if you have a license key you have, you all you have to do is to um, is to enter your enter enter your license key from here then you see this dialog box that actually pops up here you have to suppose here you have to enter your license key press ok and then you are done and then if you want to get license key get license key then it, it actually opens um, opens VMware store from where see store.vmware.com from here you can actually buy the product so it's two $249 and if you upgrade it's like uh, it's even less so let's close this now close all okay so right now we have this now uh, if you want that you can either enter the license key from the home screen itself or you can just go to help and then enter license key all right it is it is actually the same thing all right and if you want to actually uh, uh, install new op op operating system we can actually do it but uh, i'll show you that in another video and if you like to see the version information so about uh, so here you see the build version all right okay so so thank you guys thanks for watching and i definitely recommend that you guys should uh, experiment on vmware workstation i know you guys would not be really happy with this evaluation period but then it's better to look at it and then there are other applications also which is available for uh, free so i'll show you uh, installing all those freewares in some, some other video. Keep watching. Thanks.